So, Lisa, I guess my, my question is on the sidewalls on the accessory buildings that are sticking out. That our side walls are attached to the house. If anybody else builds a wall that's attached to their house, say around the garden area, they have to adhere to a six foot structure. How, how are these being 11, 11 feet tall? Because there's a roof associated with it. Part of the building, it's not a structure. Okay, yeah, so that's the only reason. Right. Sorry. Um, if we were to look at this. Um, the gable concept that was presented on the, the chart says, you know, why is this not allowed? Um, where I guess the, the, the interior room would go up probably to 28 feet and you take the 22 and cut it. 22 to 30 is 8 and you know, divide that by 2. Uh, it go up to, I guess, to 26 feet. Is that? Uh, What's your objection to that other than the strict interpretation? Right, it's, it's not at all in the code today. And, um, you know, the mass of that space is going to depend on the, the pitch of the roof. You know, you can obviously have a very narrow pitch. I understand that the max is going to be 30, but that space is nowhere defined in the code. Um, so you just want to, I want to amend it. Um, and I think the simpler solution is just to not call that one part a wall and not allow the end wall to have some, some minor thickness. Do you agree with the analysis presented by the, the client's uh, architect that it's very similar to uh, somebody that's a gable, gable room up, up on their, say, the perimeter at it and put the gable okay. there on there? Yeah, I mean, I understand what they're asking for, but that's not what the code indicates today. And I think it would be simpler to maybe have some step up provision and go in 10 up 5 or in 20 something, right? It's the ratio. That would give you some flexibility to have those nice curves that are <coughs> above the 22 feet. And then those could go, now in this situation, they're at 23, right? So that parapet wall could be seven feet tall. Mm -hmm. Unless we had some objective criteria. So, yeah, we don't want to do that. so I think that what we're seeing here now is as we have it currently written, this doesn't apply. Right. And so the decision that we need to make is do we want to allow planning staff and planning commission to reopen and reconsider something along these lines as redefining what would be more appropriate but to avoid what our biggest fear is walls of mass mm -hmm. uh, but right now if i'm going to say that the interpretation is consistent with the planning commission they've interpreted correctly we would have to make a decision on this item and then give direction for staff if we want to continue to allow more modern contemporary structures within the town of Atherton and they would have to come up, we're not going to come up with that this evening, but yet I think it would be more appropriate for our professionals to come up with that and come back to us and say, this is what we think based on, you know, uh, modern contemporary architecture. So, please, George. One more quick question. Lisa, would your interpretation of it being minimum required in the building code, whether that's a foot, whatever that is, if, if you said that's a reasonable interpretation, if you had direction from council, right. would that be a determination the council could make with respect to this? That's correct. Six inches. Well, it's, I, I'm suggesting whatever would be structurally the minimum width of a wall according to the building code, because it may vary based on the type of materials that are being used. And well, I guess the height. I mean, so I mean, how tall it how is. How tall it is. Mostly, right. it's, you know, it's a wind load issue. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's steel frame, wood frame, it could be different. You know. With, since I'd rather rely on the building codes, it is objective. Well, interpretation would allow this. this. That's correct. I, I think what the, the architect said, the width of that wall that's in question is seven inches, six inches, seven inches, something like that. Certainly, if you have two by four frames with materials on the outside, whatever the material is, it's going to be in that range. So if, if the council wanted to approve that design with that constraint, um, I think that the staff is saying that that's something that they wouldn't object to, and they certainly could come back and look at it in order to protect. I think what Council the Vice Mayor DeGolier was saying about the you know you could get some. It sounds to me like if they went a little ways, they could go up seven or eight feet, um, and that might not be as attractive. Or, it, it might be self-limiting, but at the same time, 
um, I think staff wants to make sure that we don't end up finding something in that we're not happy with in the end. But in terms of what you have in front of you, I think there's a 